Hi Ultimate Gardeners, welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening channel. My name is Emmanuel Arce, I well known to be the Ultimate Gardener. If you have noticed by the background, you can notice we're not at my house today and we have come out to a new location in Mount Dora, Florida to the Dewar Nurseries yet again. If you've been with me since September, you have noticed that we've been partnering with them for so many months now and they provide great perennials and shrubs for wholesale nurseries such as Lowe's and Walmart. And I was super excited when they reached out again and they said this time would you like to go to our bigger location and I said let's do it and if you can notice this is one of their crops right here this is actually their purple fountain grass right here as you can notice super pretty super great like always they always provide the greatest perennials ever like I've personally seen and you can see the rows go on all the way to the end over there and so technically the same concept is gonna go like today and we're gonna go ahead and record the best to our ability of everything they provide. So if you're a whole nursery out there and you want to receive some beautiful shrubs and plants, you can reach out to the DWAR nurseries yourself. So when we finish this entire video, we're gonna recap everything we did. And of course, all their media links are down below for you guys to check out their locations, their contact info, just in case you guys are interested to check out some of the things they offer. So let's go ahead and move on to the next location. <laughs> so ultimate gardeners we're in their next location this is where they have all their hydrangeas as you can see by this one so if we span you can see that they have a whole bunch of hydrangeas in this particular area right here and so this is where all the hydrangeas where they don't need a particular cold period of time are and the ones in the greenhouse are the ones that need a cold period of time and so I just really love the hydrangeas in general, but they're a bit scarce here in Florida. And so we have to be careful with them because they're a bit more delicate in our area. So for them to look this good in this particular area, they did a great job in this particular area and they look pretty good, especially this one. This one's my favorite one and it's super, super pretty. So let's go ahead and move on to the next location. Ultimate Gardeners, as you can see here, we have a little small rose here. So this is actually one of their newest ones that have come into the market. This is called their Petite Knockout Rose from Star. And so I really like the color of this. It's the classic like reddish blushes color. But the good thing about these is that they're gonna stay at a smaller form than any other rose that you get at the store. So if you get a regular rose, it's gonna get pretty big. These are gonna stay a bit more on the smaller scale of sides. So this could be ready for containers and landscape designing for hedging, which are all great things when it comes to petite roses like these. So I really wanted to show you guys this because they've been mentioning this uh, for, since we arrived and it was one of the things that stand out to me for the longest time because roses they're pretty but when it comes to maintenance when they get out of overly big size sometimes they're not so petite roses they're easy to take care of and super easy to maintain so let's move on to the next thing ultimate gardeners we're in one of their greenhouses which hold so many hydrangeas so this is actually the variety this pink one is called merit supreme so if we could come in here real quick let's see i'll grab one for you guys You can see, look how pretty that is. Such a beautiful hot pink color with uh, like creamyish, yellowish uh, eyes. And you can see how bushy and amazing these are because in the greenhouses, as you know, they're not the same temperature as outside. They're like controlled uh, greenhouses in which they are altered so the plants could be more happy and they could do amazing like these. So like you can see they're already budding up here. Some of them are blooming and like the one I showed you is a bit more advanced. So like you can see the different stages of how hydrangeas can go through. So we're gonna walk a little bit more farther down and then we'll, we'll, we'll record if we see anything more interesting. So to main gardeners, I wanted to stop real quick to show you guys this particular brand. So as you guys know, all of us are familiar with the famous nursery Lowe's. Well, they created a concept right here that in which is called ready to fill, garden made easy. So these plants are usually the ones that would be planted in containers and then throughout the seasons, once they come out with new ready to fill plants, you would alter those in your container every season or depends on when they also come out with new ones. So this is also the Merit Supreme. You can even see some with some buds of color already. But these, I love the concept behind these because it makes gardening for beginner gardeners easier and it can make it more 
sustainable for young gardeners such as me and it's such an amazing concept so Lowe's, good job on that so let's go ahead and walk a little bit more down for further so to me gardeners we're in another uh, more further down in which you can see this is a different brand so this is called rooted Br brilliance right here and i was just asking them about this and they just let me know that they actually own this type of company and so they usually told me that these are the most newest or trendingest most to the market so these have only been on market for a year or two and so these they like to like keep the most trending ones safer in greenhouses like this one where they could go ahead and do prolifically and they could just grow on and grow on and see the and record the process behind it so this is actually owned by them so the rooted brilliance is from them the dr nurseries so it's super fun to see how each and every single company and brand treats their plants because not all companies are the same and not all brands carry their plants the same as well so like the lows it's the ready to fill up one the the dr nurseries is another one and then the pink pots is another one so it's like an alternating form so i think that's what all of this greenhouse is filled up for so let's go ahead and move on to the next location so it's some gardeners we're in back again out of the greenhouses while we can and this is their blueberries so these you would usually see in nurseries like Lowe's. i actually bought a, a cherry from them um and so i want to show you guys how they start off so like this little baby right here if you can notice these are the little blooms that they carry and each and every single one of those blooms are converted into one of these and that is where they will grow on and then they will change color and then become blueberries for you guys to enjoy so they have a lot in this specific area like it keeps going on and on because right now their specialty is blueberries for fruits and blueberries are such a good fruit to grow in your garden because particularly blueberries are easier to maintain and they are super super easy to like take care of as well so i wanted to show you guys this because this is actually their specialty fruit right now and i really wanted to show you guys this badly because as you guys know we're growing your own food in my channel now so fruits amazing so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing two so it's the main gardeners as you can see behind me they have one of the most classic and basic roses here that will always be on the market for who knows how long they've been on this market for like 15 years now um and this is from the brand the knockout rose and this is called their double red knockout rose so let's see if we can find one with bloom so let's come back over here so one like this see how pretty that is and I absolutely love the new growth with roses because as you guys know, their original color is like this glossy green and their new growth is like this bronzy burgundy color, which is you can see a carpet of that across this entire area, which I love roses. Roses have been my TLC since day one and I just love them, love them, love them. And they're just amazing for Florida. If you live in Florida and you want a container ready plant, uh, landscaping, anything you want, roses are great for it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next place. So it's the main gardeners. Here is their little patch of blackberries here. So as you guys noticed with the star knockout roses and drift and the bushel and berry, all of those are owned by star. So the, all of their fruits are gonna be owned by bushel and berry. And so these are their blackberries. So as you could see, if we could show you guys a flower like this one, that's how the flower looks like, like a little strawberry fruit. And then when they are pollinated and ready to go, they become little tiny blackberries for you guys to enjoy. And I know blackberries and raspberries and such and other some specific varieties that could go in containers, but they do prolifically in the ground, especially in some good soil medium that is well drainage. I know that's really well when it comes to blackberries. And so if you ever see bush and berry and their blackberries, I would go ahead and recommend snatching one because they're super fun. So let's go ahead and move on to the next location. So to main gardeners, we're in their next area. So here they have pure dianthus. So they have so many colors and yes, we will show you every single one of them because that's what we're supposed to do. So they have this like corally color right here. Such a pretty salmon coral color. I really love dianthus. Dianthus is super fun. And if we move a little bit down further this way, you can see we have a magenta color. And moving down that way, so we're gonna move this way. So, the color 
this keeps going on and on and on. And my, one of my favorite colors in the garden is white. Like this one. Super fun color. Super lovely. They literally have more colors down here. Such as yellow. Like a buttery yellow. And that's about what they have. So they have great plants of dianthus back here. And if we turn around, they have daylilies. Daylilies have been one of the most favorite plants in my experience since day one. This is one of the first plants I planted in my first ever garden when we first started. And if we come in here, you can see how healthy they are. And we'll show you a bloom. This is a pretty bloom that they provide prolific performers they stay pretty small they only branch out wider and they have a good amount of daylilies here and even backwards so behind the dianthus that way they also have so and they also have salvia so if we can move that way so right here this little patch is salvia so this is a unique type of salvia i've never seen a salvia like this before it looks like a bit more of a ground cover so like look at this such a fun salvia. Salvia is always such a pollinator friendly plant. They always attract pollinators in the garden whatsoever. And they are just amazing in general. You can even see like the blueberries back there. So let's move on to the next location. So to Ming Gardeners, that's gonna be it for this exciting spreading video. We covered every single plant they have currently available, such as the day lilies. And my favorite plant out of the entire day today was to be their hydrangeas. The DWR Nurseries is such a unique company to buy for because they provide such amazing plants at great quality, such as their hydrangeas and roses. They're well known for the roses and hydrangeas. And so hit them up. If you're a wholesale nursery, please feel free to go ahead and contact them. If you're a nursery and you want plants, please contact them and the information I'm gonna leave down below because they provide great thing. As you guys even saw, this is raw footage. This is not altered. This is the pure plants that they offer from the get go. And my favorite thing from today was had to be the Lowe's hydrangeas because those are very pretty as well as another hydrangea that we were supposed to show you guys, but it did like burst and rain. I think we did capture that one, but it was like a lavender-ish colored hydrangea. So that's gonna be it for this exciting spreading video, you guys. I had su super, super fun out here. So much excitement and so much wonder in this area. I really do love it. So once again, a huge shout out to the DWR Nurseries for partnering with us on this video and helping us come out and showcase some of the great plants they have. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you learned something new, please leave a like down below. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing to show your amazing support towards the Ultimate Gardening channel. And please share with your friends and families to help other generations learn where their food comes from, but not only that, learn how to grow it. Thank you all so much for watching and never forget to grow big Ultimate Gardeners. Bye guys.